a cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas for uh, EMC World. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. Joe, my co-host, Dave Vellante, co-founder of Wikibon.org, and our next guest is Ehud Ruka, who's the co-founder of EMC's Extreme IO. Pleasure to have you inside theCUBE. Great to be here, thank um, you. Dave and I, we just love the acquisition because there was so much controversy around Flash going back in the day. Right. What's it going to be? The memory's cheap, it sucks, it's not going to work, it's never going to ship. So much has changed, <laughs> two years. Well, yes. congratulations on the journey, but Thank now it's much. all flash, all the time, in line, all the time, great stuff. Clearly, cleared the runway, as they say. The plane is up at Absolutely. cruising altitude. How do you feel have, about that? Well, it feels great, we've taken off. Um, obviously, we were aware of the concerns. <laughs> it's always less concerning when you are in the driver's seat because you know what's going on. People from the outside are, are waiting. Um, we uh, had, of course, our launch, GA, uh, in the last quarter of last year. And uh, 2014 is our first full year of, uh, of shipping. And it seems to be working fantastically. Uh, great support from EMC and great team on the Extreme IO side and we are just winning it. So the sales guys sitting there licking their chops going, give me the product. Uh, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and more important than the sales guys, customers are yeah. saying the same. So a lot of demand. So what's new in Extreme IO for 2014? You got one year under the book, so first couple, you know, first couple of mulligans under your belt, got the development, you had the directed availability, very successful. Yep. Now you had the full throttle, pedal to the metal, we heard from Josh earlier. Right. What's new for 14 that's going to power you up this year? So I think uh, a number of things. First, there is a great roadmap. Uh, we are uh, launching uh, its first part of for the year, uh, this month, May, with a lot of great capabilities, snapshots and uh, encryption and a whole range of, of features. And there is more to come uh, this year. Um, so we are very excited with uh, on the product side. Uh, and no less important, and maybe even uh, more important for this year, um, enablement uh, of the full power and capability of the EMC sales machine, services machine, manufacturing machine, uh, ramping up, being trained, becoming extremely productive. You, um, you got that machine working right now, Keynote offering a million dollar guarantee. Right. And the re rescue program. And rescue, yes. Describe that real quick, what does that mean? What's the million dollars mean? Is that a gimmick, is that real? Will anyone do that or What's going to take You're not going to pay that out. So <laughs> I, uh, don't worry about you know, that uh, your, your friend in there, source code, hey, I put a nice back door <laughs> in for you. Buy a house. Ma yeah, you already, exactly. made, you already made zillions of dollars already. Maybe an engineer already. somewhere is, is, is uh, thinking of a way to making an easy million. But uh, we don't plan on paying it, uh, not because we are being dishonest, because we uh, stand behind what we guarantee here. So uh, the guarantee itself, of course, it's you know, a way to attract the attention of, uh, of customers everywhere. Uh, to the fact that uh, Extreme IO guarantees all its services to be absolutely in line all the time under all conditions. You fill the array, you put uh, uh, very stressing uh, workloads, whatever you do. And that's very important. It's not just a f you know, technical fact. It's yeah. very important because what it means is we can guarantee performance. We can guarantee yeah. performance consistency and we can guarantee effective use of all data services at the same time. It's a great way to highlight the value proposition and the differentiation, but I got to tell you, I was right. in the audience and all the IT guys, you can see who the IT guys are because they'll go, oh, mm, that gets my attention. Exactly. Because they're all saying, hmm. And they're probably, the wheels start turning, can, right? Yeah, can like, we make a million here? And if you guys so, know you got that in the bag, that's a beautiful thing. Absolutely, and, uh, and that's the thing we want to encourage people to, to think about these things. Think about the, these capabilities, whether they exist or not in a product, in Extreme IO, in other products they evaluate, and uh, let them try uh, win it. Um, I think we'll, we'll win along the way. Hey, Hood, can we go back in time a little bit? So 2012 was obviously the acquisition. We, actually, we had Pat Gelsinger on and we had a good right. discussion with him. I want to go back even before that. Um, so 
when Flash first came out, it was EMC who landed the haymaker, they, you know, stuffing Flash inside of a, of a, of a, a, a Symmetrics. Right. And so we said, wow, okay, this is interesting. So we started thinking about it. And then at the same, right around the same time, you had Fusion I.O. at the other end of the spectrum with sure. PCIe cards. And then, so I'm trying to understand, when you founded Extreme I.O., um, sort of, what was your thinking? What, we, what was the problem and the opportunity that you saw there? Take us back. Yeah, um, so surprisingly enough, I think, you know, looking today at ret uh, retrospect, the vision we had back in 2009, uh, my partners uh, and myself, uh, is very much the same as what we are seeing today. Quite amazing, we are seeing the things we were uh, envisioning back then uh, actually materializing. I think it was the understanding that performance is important and there is the famous performance gap between processing and storage that's only widening and there is a need to close it and flash is the right way to do it. But also the understanding that with flash being a very different, much more flexible media than disk in many ways, mostly being a random access machine, allows us to build a much better uh, storage solution. So it's not only about performance, although performance is absolutely a key pillar, and we excel, and I think we lead on that front, but the ability to offer other capabilities make the whole storage solution uh, and related IT solution environment uh, simpler, more agile, more easier to use. How much did, did Steve Jobs influence you to quit your job and start Extreme IO, right? I mean, I'm talking about the consumer, the choice to put Flash inside right. these devices, right. which at the time was replacing iPods, you know, yeah. spinning disk and iPod. So, yeah, you know, absolutely, we can't ignore the fact that we see the move from disk to flesh. You know, we had uh, disk-based iPods back back in the time. I still have one. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, absolutely, it's the kind of uh, trends uh, and thinking that uh, definitely creates uh, a thought in your mind. Uh, but then there are the obvious uh, challenges uh, of the enterprise environment that are very different from uh, the stress and uh, requirements uh, that the flesh device in a consumer. Uh, do, do you uh, do you feel like Flash has long legs here? Do you care? I mean, there's a lot of alternatives that are being proposed. Um, do you do you see what's your forecast? I know our right. own David Floyer has his opinion, uh, and it's because of the consumer side that he feels like this has long legs. But other technologists disagree, and and does it matter to you? Right. So in many ways, it does not matter. What we have built is a software stack and an architecture that excel and are optimized for any media that's random access media. And looking at alternative technologies, they ho all share the same capability, being of random access nature. So the technology that we have built uh, will be able to leverage new technologies as they become uh, available and cost effective. Um, although I personally feel that Flash is here to stay for a long time, uh, with new generations, new advancements obviously, cost reduction that we are seeing, you know, being aggressively uh, pursued all the time. Uh, but if something else comes up, we don't really care. Uh, what have you learned in your journey as an entrepreneur then being acquired by the big uh, EMC, which has done a great track, has a great track record in acquisitions, you've seen right. Data Domain and others. Uh, what have you learned? I mean, what, and what could you do over, or what could, would you share as a learning experience for other entrepreneurs and other executives out there? Sure. Well, um, I must say I was, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing to say, I was positively surprised with the acquisition and integration process. I think I always repeat saying this, EMC, as far as I could tell, they do not have a, an acquisition or integration textbook. They don't come in day one, day two, and tell you, okay, this is what we need to do now. Uh, they look at the team, they look at the product, they look at the uh, market, and uh, together with us, with a lot of listening on the EMC side uh, and a lot of flexibility, build the right plan for the business. And as long as everyone is working to promote the business, it's really a completely consistent mutual interest for everybody. What are you doing now? What's your role now? Obviously, it's always like, you, it, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Founders go, they vest, they get the cash, they bolt, they hang, some stay around and go the distance. What are you doing now? So. Um, in, in many ways, my role did not change. In some ways, it definitely did change, being part of EMC now, from a CEO of a startup company to a general manager of a business that leverages many uh, of the EMC functions. 
uh, but the role, bottom line, is the same. Do whatever is needed to win in the market. And uh, frankly, being part of EMC makes it somewhat easier and makes the, uh, the uh, goal of being number one uh, more than realistic. It's still being a leader, but different elements, right? You still got to do the leadership. Absolutely. You have more resources, maybe more meetings. <laughs> so or maybe uh, yeah. somewhat more meetings, yes. <laughs> more people to meet. But you have more gas in the tank. But absolutely, resources, yeah. support, a great team of talent on the EMC side that's yeah. helping us, and the sales machine that's unbelievable. Ehud, how should we look at the DSSD acquisition in the context of the flash hierarchy right. emerging? So, I know some people may ask, hey, why, why do you need another Flash product? But keep in mind, Flash is, is a technology. Just like no one is asking, why do you need more than one disk-based product? Uh, I think uh, the requirements of different environments, different architectures, different uh, applications are such that there is a justification for a range of products, and the transition to Flash only makes the need for more than one new platform uh, uh, much more visible. Mm. So uh, the SSD is, uh, I, I believe, not much information has been disclosed, uh, not too much detail. Uh, a very different platform uh, relative to Extreme IO, a very complementary one, and when we look at the huge range of use cases out there, uh, we will be very complimentary. John, horses for courses, another British term. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming on theCUBE. It's been a pleasure. Real big fans of your success. It's always fun to watch uh, entrepreneurs really make it, have an exit, an acquisition, and now your current growth is, is a great, great trend. Certainly, the trend is your friend. Uh, you know, converge <laughs> infrastructure, <laughs> more mobile, social cloud. Uh, yeah, God bless technology. Good time for being in the software business. Uh, thanks for coming great. on theCUBE. Thank really you appreciate very much. it. Uh, Appreciate the time. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our Thank next you. guest after this short break.